Currently, EVs are popular all over the world, and every automaker is attempting to push the envelope in terms of electric mobility. One such automaker is Hyundai, which has publicly said that the second half of 2022 would see the arrival of the Ioniq 5, its flagship EV. It is the automaker's first ever electric mid-size crossover, and it has undoubtedly caught the globe by storm. So what makes the Ioniq 5 such a great car? Why you should opt out for the Hyundai Ioniq 5 if you are planning to buy a car? Join us today as we are going to discuss what makes the Ioniq 5 such a great car. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. We are here to inform you about all the most recent developments in cars and EVs as well as all of their characteristics from top to bottom and to provide you with the concise descriptions of them. So, if you don't want to miss any of our updates, hurry up and subscribe to the channel. Having said that, let's dive right in. The Hyundai Ioniq 5 dazzles as a fast-charging SUV with a commendable driving range thanks to a blend of 1980s 8-bit design and a very outstanding new-era electric motor. Both a 320-horsepower all-wheel drive dual-motor car with an estimated 266-mile range as well as a 168-horsepower single-motor rear-drive Ioniq 5 are offered. With a range of 303 miles, the large-range single-motor rear-drive variant is one of the most powerful EVs available today for less than $60,000. The true star, though, is its 350-kilowatt DC fast-charging capacity, which enables charging speeds as swift as those provided by more costly and opulent EVs like the Porsche Taycan and Lucid Air. The inside of the Ioniq 5 is very spacious, offering more room for rear passengers than either the Ford Mustang Mach-E or Volkswagen ID. The Ioniq 5 is an attractive option for anybody interested in purchasing an electric vehicle for the first time because of its wide variety of price and range options. What makes Ioniq 5 so unique? Hyundai updates the Ioniq 5's equipment subtly enough to raise some of its EPA ratings even though it only made its debut last year. The all-wheel drive variant's estimated range has been upgraded by the EPA from 256 miles to 266 miles. Additionally, their MPGE ratings have marginally increased. All versions now come equipped with the battery heating systems and the preconditioning features as standard. Finally, if you do decide to tow something with the Ioniq 5, you should be aware that the SEL and Limited versions have a 2000 300 pound maximum tow rating. When it comes to the 2023 Ioniq 5, going large will bring you home. The rear drive SEL grade, which is priced far below $50,000 and offers an EPA estimated 303 miles of range and 225 horsepower, is what we'd recommend in these situations. Standard features include a hands free power lift gate, fake leather inside trim, ambient interior lighting, a heated steering wheel, wireless charging, and more. The Ioniq 5 features an all-electric drivetrain with a range of power options, a single electric motor installed at the back of the vehicle, and a standard range battery together provide 168 horsepower. With a longer range battery, the 225 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque it produces, Hyundai claims the Ioniq 5 will reach 60 miles per hour in 7.4 seconds. The all-wheel drive variant is far more powerful and quicker with 320 horsepower and a huge 446 pound-feet of torque. It took 4.5 seconds to reach 60 miles per hour on our test track. The Ioniq 5 we drove performed admirably on a range of road surfaces and its wide for EV tires combines with a low center of gravity give it the appearance of being nimble while going from side to side. We only desire a bit more stiffness in the suspensions and more feedback from the steering. The Ioniq 5's range with the basic 58 kilowatt hour battery pack is predicted to be 220 miles. With two motors, the bigger 77.4 kilowatt hour battery is capable of 266 miles of travel and 303 miles with only one motor. On our real-world range test at 75 miles per hour, the dual motor model covered 210 miles on a single charge. When hooked into a DC fast charger, Hyundai claims the bigger battery can be recharged from 10 to 80% in approximately 18 minutes. It is also set to add 68 miles in about 5 minutes. We put these assertions to the test and verified that the Ioniq 5 can indeed charge this rapidly. The Ioniq 5 gets a combined EPA rating of 114 MPGE with a long-range battery and rear-wheel drive. Adding all-wheel drive reduces that estimate to 101 MPGE up to 98 last year. The predicted combined MPGE for the EV SUV 
with rear wheel drive and a standard range battery is 113. On our 75 miles per hour highway route, the dual motor Ionic 5 we tested was able to go 210 kilometers on a single charge. The Ionic 5's inside has a tech-savvy environment with a digital dashboard and a significant amount of eco-friendly materials, albeit it isn't as artistic as the cabin perfumed by the Hyundai 45 concept. One fancy feature is a head-up display with augmented reality that can show navigation's instructions on a windshield. The all-electric small crossover makes the most of its packing by having a floor that is fully flat for the most amount of passenger and baggage rooms. While the Ionic is charging, passengers may unwind in the front seats which also recline and have footrests. The 5 features more front and back seat passenger space because of a wheelbase that is longer than the Hyundai Palisades' third row. On top spec limited models, the spacious center console moves back and forth between the front seats and features plenty of storage space. Six carry-on bags plus 20 with the setbacks folded fit behind the back seats of the vehicle. For context, the hybrid Hyundai Tucson, small SUV topped out at 22. The Ionic sub-brand, according to Hyundai, promotes connected living and the Ionic 5 includes a wide range of cutting-edge connections and infotainment capabilities. A 12-inch touchscreen and a 12-inch digital gauge cluster are located on the same dash panel. However, the former serves as the center of entertainment. Advanced speech recognition software, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are all included in this. Unfortunately, cables are necessary for Apple and Android smartphone connections. The high-ranking engineer engaged in the development of both car claims that the Hyundai Ionic 5 and electric performance car will be faster and more competent than the current gasoline-powered Hyundai i30 and hot hatch. The local showroom lineup will include a high-powered versions of Hyundai's first brand new electric vehicle next year. Before an official's introductions, later this year, camouflage vehicles have been seen on a video on video at the German racetrack Nürburgring, the Hyundai Ionic 5N which is built on the first model of its eGMP electric vehicle platform, will be the South Korean automaker's first high-performance electric vehicle. Although the Hyundai Ioniq 5 Ansys pricing, features, and performance numbers have already been made public, Albert Bierman, a senior Hyundai official and the previous head of the end performance divisions, claims it will be quick enough to alter attitudes. At a recent media event in Germany, Mr. Bierman said, it will be far quicker than the Hyundai i30N. How could it possibly be slower? Nearly 600 horsepower is available. When questioned about the anticipated all-wheel drive models' combined output from the two electric motors, Mr. Bierman responded, it's not finalized. It may be 580, 600, 620 horsepower. There are several. With real-world 0 to 100 km per hour performance in the 5.5 second range, the current Hyundai i30N is one of the fastest accelerating front-wheel drive hot hatchbacks on the market today. It is powered by a turbocharged 2.0-liter four-cylinder engine and an 8-speed twin-clutch transmission. Despite the Hyundai Ionic 5 Ansys performance claims, Mr. Bierman stated that the car will also be about how it sounds and feels in addition to its speed. Faster is irrelevant, according to Mr. Bierman. Grin and heartbeat are important. The issue is, is it enjoyable? How broad is your smile? Mr. Bierman responded, that is the toughest problem. When asked whether Hyundai intended to provide snap, crackle, and popcorn noises to replicate the exhaust note of a high-performance gasoline vehicle, we are moving a ton pace already. When I first started the firm, we focused a lot on reducing noise. Today, we discuss the additions of sound to electric vehicles to offer the driver a pleasant experience and a sense of excitement. Regarding the popcorn noises, it is challenging to simulate a dynamic explosions in the combustion systems utilizing only the inside speakers. Of course, the sound is vital, but it's not everything. To that end, Mr. Bierman stated the Hyundai Ionic 5N, although having all-wheel drive, would include a drift mode that when activated will transmit the majority of power to the rear wheels, enabling rear wheel skids in enclosed spaces like skid pens and race courses. Similar features are provided by the Hyundai Ioniq 5 and triplets, which also include the Kia EV6 GT and Genesis GV60 performance electric vehicles. The Hyundai Ioniq 5N will have powerful friction brakes in addition to a regenerative braking system. Of course, Mr. Bierman said, the automobile must pass our Nürburgring testing if it is a Hyundai and vehicles. The newest shipment of vehicles from Hyundai's Australian business, the Ionic 5 electric crossover, was gone in a couple of minutes. The recently renamed AWD Technique with an optional sunroof was featured for the first time in the most recent batch. To achieve a very precise range estimate, driver can set tow weights in advance using the vehicle's telematic system. With that stated, the video has come to a close. I sincerely hope that you enjoyed and learned something from this video. 
If so, do not hesitate about giving it a thumbs up and to receive all the updates on our efforts, kindly subscribe to our channel and enable the notification bell. See you soon in our next video. Thank you for watching.